This is the MTI 482. Talk about a showstopper. Now, I just spoke with someone and learned a bit about this boat. He called it a pleasure boat. Okay, we'll call it a pleasure boat, at least a high performance pleasure boat. It's powered by twin 1100 Mercury's. That's 2200 horsepower. Now, let me give you something else. He said best cruise on this thing is at about 5,400 RPMs, running about 105 miles an hour. This is hole number one. And just one glimpse into the cockpit, you can see that they do it right. Everything is done in-house by MTI. This would certainly be an exhilarating ride for eight people. Right now, I'm standing on the back of the AB Yachts 120-foot Sport Fly. She is the wraith, and this is absolutely a showstopper. Look, even a shower on the aft deck. <laughs> That's something else. A little bit of seating up here, actually quite a lot of seating, and you can see inside a hot tub. As we come up the elegant steps, very beautiful, and we can see that these sides here even flip down. A grand entryway, very wide. Coming into this salon, look at how tall these windows are. I mean, that's what, five foot? And then so much space in here, open and airy. And it's, you notice there's not a galley, there's not anything else in here. Talk about a great entertaining space. We have a wet bar right here. That is incredible. Motion activated, entry into the helm. This is a control center here. Impeccable seating. Great views, holy smokes, people. Let's go see what kind of surprises are below. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this space in here. This is like an atrium. Several guest cabins, all with their own ensuite heads. Oh, this must be, this could be the master or the VIP. It's hard to tell on this, but it would work either way, in my opinion. Let's see what is a little farther forward. This is all the mirrors in here. feels kind of like a fun house. I don't know I'm having fun. In this cabin, the owner requested a gym. So they hid the gym underneath the bed. This is a tonal machine. Now you may not be familiar, but I have seen these before. I haven't had the pleasure of using one, but it's essentially like a complete gym all in one. And it has a screen here to kind of guide you through your workouts. I'll look at this control center in here. I have a camera showing the aft deck, all systems showing up on there. We have washer dryer, small galley. Okay. Let's see, it's a little farther forward. I might guess crew cabins farther forward. This isn't quite as elegant, but it's still very nice. So this is gonna be the crew area forward. Something interesting about this boat is the owner doesn't like to see TVs. So they install these mirrors here and behind the mirrors in many of the staterooms, that's where the TV's located. Let's go take a look at the engine room. Even though this is a 120 foot boat, the draft is three and a half foot. Top speed is 47 knots, and that is because it has triple jet drives. There's also a complete wastewater treatment system on board, and this entire engine room is conditioned. That's gonna make the components last longer and more comfortable to work down here for the crew. Let's go see the flybridge. There's another shower up here I see. The idea was to keep everything low profile on this boat. So actually, here's the helm station. It actually raises up whenever you want to control the boat from up here. Same thing goes for these handrails. In normal operation, lower these down, or when you want to have a sleek look, lower them down, but if maybe have some guests aboard, I don't want them to fall off, raise the handrails up. This 43-foot Midnight Express, it's almost hard to describe. Lamborghini edition, 2,500 horsepower, blue, I mean, it matches my shirt. This is a true showstopper. So if you want to look good, look fast, look powerful, look strong, pull up in this thing. Just look up at the helm, that is absolutely captivating. But then something unusual is this material here that they have done on their upholstery. I don't usually see something like this. 
If you want to have a party on your boat and you want people to hear the music from miles away, this thing will absolutely do it. I'm not even going to start counting the speakers on this boat because they are everywhere and they're large. Don't adjust your screen. I know I look like a Smurf, but right now I feel like I'm in the VIP room of a South Beach Miami nightclub being in this cabin. <laughs> this is cool. And don't forget the matching Lamborghini. It just wouldn't be complete without it. I'm now aboard the Allium 42S. I see this being an exquisite and elite yacht tender or day cruiser. Just imagine yourself enjoying the sandbar anchored it on this thing. Or maybe if the sandbar is crowded, you can't exactly get to it, you can deploy both of the swim patios on each side and create your own sandbar. This just seems like it could be a great platform for entertaining guests. You could even create a fabulous dinner on the outdoor galley. Sitting at the helm of this thing and just looking out, I kind of feel like James Bond. It appears the cabin could comfortably accommodate four people or a small family overnight. The D'Antonio D50 is another one you don't want to miss. When underway, this boat appears to be an inboard power boat, but that's not the fact. The fact is, there's twin outboards under here. They're just concealed in a nice, convenient way. Under the hardtop is an open-air salon with a large table with seating enough for eight. Always like seeing custom branding on the placemats, dinnerware, and accessories. Just forward, we have, we have our outdoor galley, stove top, sink, with an option for a grill, and what is this, an ice maker? Ah, it is. The helm area is a little more protected. You have glass all the way around and sunroofs above. Twin seats, both port and starboard, and a gorgeous, well laid out helm station. One place that this boat shines is the cabin. Let's see below. All the way forward is the master cabin with mirrored closets on each side, as well as whole side windows. To starboard is the head, with a walk-in shower, and this toilet room actually connects to the master cabin. Now moving astern, this is what will really surprise you. This is a very versatile space with room for seating for uh, eight people probably, and a cabin. All the way forward is a triple wide sun pad and opposing seating at the bow. I'm here in front of Four Winds H2E. This is the first fully electric bow rider in production today, and it's powered by Emotions 180E outboard by Vision Marine Technologies. What we're looking at here appears to be the power source for the H2E. And also, this boat won boating's 2023 boat of the year in the runabout category. With this boat, you can expect a 250 nautical mile range of quiet operation. It's equipped with a smart dual touchscreen to make it easy to monitor your systems. Taking a look at the interior, as expected, we see four winds quality here with good stitching and just high quality amenities and an intelligent layout. I'm excited to see this collaboration between Vision Marine Technologies and Four Winds, and I look forward to seeing what they bring to the table in the future.